Hello guys, we are back again with a new topic which is uh, difference between criminal <coughs> misappropriation and the criminal trust. So we are discussing here about the introduction part. Uh, so what is the dishonest misappropriation of property essential ingredients of section 403 of IPC and essential ingredients of section 404 of IPC. What is criminal breach of trust? essential ingredients of section 405 section 407 8 and 409 of ipc and what was the major difference between criminal misappropriation and the criminal trust and last one is the conclusion part so uh, uh, these topics i will be discussing in this uh, session so uh, we will be starting with the introduction parts so uh, the offense like criminal misappropriation and the criminal breach of trust are criminal offenses against property as mentioned under the IPC of sec, uh, IPC section uh, 403 of IPC defines misappropriation of the property whereas section 405 defines uh, criminal breach of trust so under 403 of the IPC when a person dishonestly misappropriated or used the property of another person to satisfy his own purpose or to capitalize it for one own, one own use has committed the offense of criminal misappropriation so that this uh, the essential ingredients of section 405 of IPC is trust and however breach it it has committed the offense of criminal breach of trust now the essential ingredients of section 403 of ipc so the first uh, essentials are the property must be another person uh, for example uh, ram took a car red car belonging to sham by taking or unknowingly but returned the same when he found the real owner of the car is sham then there is no misappropriation of the property but if Ram does not return the car even after knowing that the car belongs to Sham, then Ram committed the offense of misappropriation of property. So, this honest intention, conversion of property are the ingredients of misappropriation of the uh, yeah, misappropriation of the uh, criminal misappropriation so when any person misappropriate or converts any properties of another person with dishonest intention has committed the offense of criminal misappropriation and the conversions of property for constituting an offense of criminal misappropriating the essence behind this section is when a person converts any property for his own use a word converts to his own use cannot the use or deal with the property uh, of the right of the owner so as per the uh, raga swami nadar versus uh, state of madras 1957 conversion of properties defines everything so you can read this case also now Moving forward, in the case of Yudhar versus the state of Dharkand 2013, the Supreme Court held that any dispute related to recovery of money is always of civil nature and criminal complaint in the regard is not maintainable. So, uh, at the end, it concludes that the mis criminal misappropriation and the criminal breach of trust are not the same thing. Criminal bre breach of trust includes criminal misappropriation, but the reverse is not always true. Also, there is a huge difference between uh, criminal misappropriation and the theft also. Section 380, 378 of the IPC deal with the pro provisions related to the theft which I have discussed in my uh, previous session. You can also go and watch my previous session so that you can clear all the things. So moving forward to the essential ingredients of the section 404 of IPC. So to make a person liable for an offense mentioned under section 404 of the Indian Penal Code the following in essential ingredients which are involved or must be fulfilled to uh, uh, the, uh, like the property, the 
first essentials which are the property must be movable in nature or must be movable property so second one is such property must be must be in a position or the deceased person at the time of death of such person second the third one is the offender converted it or misappropriate it for his own use so the, uh, these are the essential ingredients of the section 404 now the next one we can talk about criminal breach of trust so it is under section 305 of the ipc when a person is interested with the property or that person has power or domain over that property dishonesty misappropriated or uses the property to satisfy his own purpose or to capitalize it for one's own use or also to dispose of that property is contrary to a law that prescribes how to discharge such trust or in violation of any contract express or implied or willfully directed any person to do so has committed a co offense under this section uh, for 405 of ipc so uh, under this sections so under uh, section 406 of uh, indian penal code any persons uh, committed an offense of criminal breach of trust shall be punishment punished with uh, imprisonment for not less than term and uh, that may be extended to two years or with the fine or maybe the both so essential elements of sections 405 which is criminal breach of trust are entrustment the second one is that such entrustment of the property must be in trust this uh, and the third one is the uh, dominant over the property so uh, starting with the entrustment so as per the case uh, of uh, Sundarlal Pal Singh versus the state of Uttar Pradesh, entrusted means handling over the property or giving them control the property from one person to another so that the person or whose behalf the property is transferred remain the owner of that property. To constitute an offense of criminal breach of trust, the essence of word entrustment is must. So the second point is such entrustment of the property must be in trust. Like if we are giving property to someone in our hand, then we are giving trust on the basis of trust. That is the criminal breach of trust in uh, section 405. Mein jo hai, wo nahi ho sakta hai. So this is also a case hai like Rama Swami Nadar versus State of Madras. So in this case, the Apex Court held that the constitute an offense of criminal breach of trust or to make any person liable under 405 of IPC, the essence of word entrustment is a must. So there must be an entrustment of the property also. Now, uh, in uh, also section 407, 408 and 409 of IPC uh, are the aggregated form of criminal breach of trust. So section 405 of IPC deal with the criminal breach of trust by carrier etc. So uh, when a person is interested with the property as a carrier, warehouse keeper or war finger commit a pre criminal breach of trust regarding that property shall be punished with the imprisonment for not less than a term <coughs> or it may be extended also or fine and both. So now section 408 uh, defines uh, deal with the criminal breach of trust by clerk or servant like uh, uh, it is a criminal breach of trust in mostly possible in the working areas like offices and po and etc uh, and uh, it shall be liable for the uh, imprisonment for not less than a term or may be extended with the seven years and also section 409 deal with the criminal breach of trust by public servants or a mercant banker or agent in this uh, section when any person is interested with the property as a public servant or by a banker or an agent <clears throat> so that person having power or dominant over that property commits a criminal breach of trust and also liable for the uh, imprisonment for not less than term that may be extended to 10 years or a fine both so i think uh, uh, 
but these are uh, criminal misappropriation and criminal trust are uh, clear so now the last point is the major difference between criminal misappropriation and the criminal trust so on the basis of provision 30 uh, section 3, uh, 403 define misappropriation of the property where section 505 defines criminal breach of trust so in criminal misappropriation the property comes into the possession of the offender in some natural manner or some by casualty but in criminal breach of trust the property come into possession of the offender due to entrustment by the owner of the accused now the nature of the property in criminal misappropriation the subject matter the property which is the property is always movable in nature but criminal breach of trust the property must may be movable or immovable in nature so these are the basic difference between now i would like to conclude my lecture uh, so it is concluded that criminal misappropriation and the criminal breach of trust are not the same both are the different things uh, also there is a huge bit uh, difference between criminal misappropriation and theft so section 378 defines uh, provisions related to theft so under theft the consent of real power of owner of the property is uh, not known to the offender but in mis criminal misappropriation initially the real owner owner of the property grant or consent to the offender so these are the basic difference between and i would like to conclude my session so if you have guys any question arises in your mind related to this topic please comment down your question i will be i will be glad to answer your questions thank you so much guys